299-3595. Elm Global Logistics. Pride, performance, and partnerships. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty Nefaro, where we have frequent visitor, Hall of Famer, Mr. USA Tony Atlas, with a special Christmas edition for the fans. So, Tony, you said you never got a Christmas gift. Yeah. You never got anything. Yeah. What can Monty and the Pharaoh get you for Christmas? Ha ha! <laughs> what a ham. What? What the hell's going on? Oh, the- Merry Christmas! <laughs> Holy Ooh, what a rush. Tony, what does that do for you? You like that? Maybe it humbles me. It humbles Talk to me. us. Tell us what that does for you. By the way, can you introduce your friend there? Oh, that unloaded you. This is my very good <laughs> friend for, for 20 years. This is Miss Laura Clucci. She's been my friend for uh, uh, nearly 20 years. She helped me out. She's a very good friend of my wife. She's been a, a family friend for, for many, many years. She's the best friend I got. Uh, up in Maine, but everybody need a balance. Everything that I've ever done in my whole life, I dominated. I dominated bodybuilding. I dominate powerlifting. When I was an amateur wrestler, I dominated. When I started in the wrestling business, one year after I started in the wrestling business, I was a main event. I never really had to work hard because I was always so dominant in everything I ever did. This is my balance. So when I'm when, when that happened, it hummers me. It gives me humminess. It's non-sexual. But I just feel humble to be dominated by a female. So you meet her, and then at what point do you say, hey, look, sometimes I need help with this. Can you do this? And she's like, okay, no problem. I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to kick you in the face. No, she's a nice lady. <laughs> She'd Are you sure that she's a nice like lady. maybe sometimes your wife is tired no, of giving you, you see, a beating and she asked her to Laura, do a favor or something? Laura, Laura, Laura is a is a special person. She uh got a big heart, and she a very she got a talent that very very few people have. She know she listens. There's a difference between listening and hearing. When somebody blow the horn in the car, you hear it. Listening means you let things soak in, you think about it. Lord helps a lot of people that uh, other people don't understand. She's non-critical of, of, uh, of uh, anybody. She's the only person that ever stepped on me uh, that never called me weird or sick or abnormal. So you get a feeling of normalcy around her mm. because she don't judge anybody. You know, she's non-judgmental. And uh, she got a big heart. She takes on a lot of other people's problems and try to help people in any way they can. Not too long ago, I hope she don't mind me saying this, but we got bus drivers in Maine. And Laura liked riding the bus, you know, the city bus, where she went and cooked for all of them. Just, they didn't ask her to do it. But she see these poor guys working all the time. Nobody showing no respect. So we, she went home, I bought a bunch of stuff, and made them some some holiday tweets. She would do things like that. Another neighbor, he got a dog, and he never wanted to walk much. You know, she would go get the dog, go walk the dog. She got an understanding of other people. So with me, uh, I need that balance. It keep me from. It keeps me. Grounded. Mm. And, and see, Domin, uh, Dominitri is most most people that into being dominated are in real life are very dominating people. So once now you have to humble yourself to something, and that humbleness help you to, you know, kind of cool your jets for a while. It's a sedative. Otherwise, I'd be like this all the time. <laughs> You know, and nobody would like me. In the wrestling business, the term is soft hands and feet. Does she have soft hands and feet? Because that looked like that hurt. 
Are they, so, are they soft, soft blows? Did she, you know, or was that illusion I just saw? Because she looked like she just kicked the shit out of you, pretty much. So I'm just. Well, you want to call her and punch? No, no, no. I don't want to find out for myself. I, I, hit, I, it's fine. She hit hard. No, I don't. I don't. want She hit hard, good. but, but with me, it's normal because I've been doing it since I was six. Right. I used to get girls in in, in school to punch me. Really. What the was, see everything about somebody. Nobody developed nothing. <laughs> right. On. You know, how people say that that uh, being gay, they learn that. No, you born the way you are. Hmm. You born the way you are. It's in you. It, the first time I went and picked up a weight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm not gonna let this one pass. Yeah, I, but are you? Are you saying that you believe? And I'm not saying I believe or not, but that you believe that people. Or born gay genetically. It's yeah. not a learned habit. No. Yeah. Yeah. And what I makes was, you believe that? The Virginia Negro Baptist Children Home. I, I raised up in foster homes. I was around a lot of young boys. And there was other boys that you would take a shower with. You know, boys took a shower together. Well, you look at one kid, all of a sudden, he's a kid now. And he's looking at you like he's looking at a woman. And he's excited. Another kid don't want to look at you. Then, as I grew up, people people don't change that much. My mom said, my mother always knew me because she knew me as a child. And you ask your mom, your mom will tell you, oh, he's the same as he's always been. Mm. People are born to be what they are. The first time I, I picked up a weight, I never put him down. Another person go pick up a weight, a month later he quits. Another person pick up a book. He don't want to read it. Another person pick up a book and can't put it down. We born the way we are. Nobody is taught anything. You have to have feelings for that. It's something your brain is telling you, I like that. The, <coughs> the brain controls the body. The body don't control the brain. Should nobody could teach me. I don't know about nobody that. could teach me to look at <laughs> fur and get excited. You can't teach me that. Yeah, that just comes naturally. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot, Tony. You understand Tony. what I'm trying to say? <laughs> and nobody could tell Farrell to look at Tony Atlas and get excited. You can't teach Farrell that. That's true. That. You can't. It's got to be not. in him. It's a feeling he get when he's around males. It's a feeling I get. Tony, when, you don't have to worry about a fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> when, when I'm around big, strong, domineering women, right. it's a feeling I get. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's how it is with everything. Just like Damn. wrestling, Damn. you feel it. It's like broadcasting, like what you guys do. I could never do. It's not in me. The first time I pick up a pencil, I don't know if I told this story or not. I, uh, my mother, we used to go to Sunday school. So my mother drew me some pictures to color because she couldn't afford a color book. So she bought uh, some paper. And she, my mother was a born artist. And she drew pictures for us to color. So we had something to color. We had a one box of crown that we had to share. So she drew all of her pictures. Well, I color all my pictures quicker than my brother did, then I flipped the paper over and drew other pictures to draw. Wow. Wow. Nobody ever taught me how to draw. I knew from day one. You take a singer. Like I, I saw this thing on all these singers like uh Whitney Houston and uh uh Jennifer Huxer. Nobody taught Jennifer Huxer how to sing. She always it was in her. Mm. They, they started as little kids. They showed tapes of these little kids singing and dancing. Michael Jackson, nobody taught Michael how to sing. You born the way you are. Mm. Now you could.